All right, so I bought this shit at the flea market uh, specifically to tear down and to see what exactly is inside. Uh, so what this is, is one of those bridges, uh, I don't know what, what they're called, but um, they basically use your house's um, power lines to send some data over them. So I don't know exactly how they, I would expect to have some, to find some transformer in there. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a short and pointless video, although... I do want to see what's inside of these, and I'm correctly assuming that uh, you people do too, so let's uh, do get to the bottom of this. Um, while we're at it, do you people know what uh, MAC stands for, right, in MAC address? Uh, because I didn't, and I checked, and as a filler for time I spend to slowly and painfully unscrew this. It does actually stand for media access control, so I don't know. Never actually knew that. Alright. So yeah, any guesses? Uh, some type of transformer deal and a little power supply, which by the way doesn't do anything. I plugged it in. Doesn't draw anything, doesn't flash any lights. I don't know what's what's up with it. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is actually quite interesting. What the hell is this? Alright, now this... Right, that's the Ethernet uh, transformer thingy. This looks like the power supply, common mode choke. And big ass... Big ass chip, man, like, people are serious. Let's, uh, let's check this out. That, to be honest, I wasn't expecting that much, although wrongfully so. I, isn't the most trivial of problems, but, uh, I wonder if the fuse blew. Oh, by the way, I paid one euro for this at the flea market. So, not a super bad price. I'll say. Okay, so what the hell does 2R, 2M mean? <laughs> the fuck are these? Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Alright, so I'll, um, I'll take the heatsink off and we'll have a bit of a closer look. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. I don't know, this is cool shit. <laughs> I'm pretty happy I got it. All right, so enough time has passed since I started recording this video that a war has actually broken out. Uh, it's the Russia-Ukraine situation. But anyway, I have finally gotten around to taking a look at this, taking a closer look at this. And unfortunately, I was unable to find any specific information on the main chips. So they both have a DS2 branding. Far as I can tell, this is an uh, Ethernet Phi. This is the main application processor, right? Running the OS and whatever. Uh, they're made by Marvel. Marvel, as far as I'm aware. Um, on the back, reset switch. Is that accessible? It is. It's not a reset switch. I don't know. It's some kind of switch. Uh, I'm not sure if water has gotten into this or why it has. The gunk they used is very weird. I'm 
but um, not only is my camera dying, but uh, also, yeah, this, this seems to be some somewhat corroded, I would assume. Anyhow, so Marvel does this DS2 solution, right? Router chip and Ethernet Phi, which talks to this, uh, talks to the mains via this transformer. I have actually counted the turns. And um, yeah, so basically the other side is just this, right? So this gets plugged in and then offers the socket so as not to block it. And it has these beefy 2.2 micro Henry inductors. Um, yeah, but, but apart from that, uh, oh yeah, and one more comment. Uh, this had a big ass heatsink on top. I'm not saying it's the worst idea, but it's a very stupid idea to have an enclosed box, right? A small enclosed box like this, and then spend a lot of money on this big, or maybe they were cheap. I don't know. Maybe they were. Spend a lot of money on this big ass heatsink that's going to have like 20 cubic millimeters to cool in, right? You can see some very nice air currents having formed here, right? So I'd assume it would suck in a bit of air through the um, tiny cut over here. Anyway, and so it's a bad idea. I did this in the past as well. Uh, it's a much better idea to just have either a copper foil, right? A thick copper foil or some kind of an aluminum foil this type of deal and just have this come close to the wall and that'll conduct way better than this will inside anyway and i did actually do some measurements back in the day i had this um, linear regulator inside a box not too big not too dissimilar to this and it would get insanely hot with this and then when i stuck it to the wall with a pretty small piece of aluminum it would stay a lot cooler and uh what else can we say, right? So this is, I, I don't agree with this choice. Uh, power supply is pretty chill. They have quite a lot of filtering, right? Some uh, capacitors, common mode choke, bridge rectifier, switch mode I see, little transformer, providing what seems to be, a, I have no idea. Five volt rail, seven, eight, who knows? Everything's 10 volts or probably, I don't know, no idea. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at the the main right. How they do the um, interneting through the walls, through the mains wiring. Um, so they have the mail end going through a two point two micro Henry inductor. Uh, where are those? So it says two R two M. So inductors are actually measured with the same code, even even though they're not ohms, they still use the exact same notation. So with R. That would be 2.2 ohms, but in this case, it's 2.2 uh, milli micro Henry, sorry. And the M is the pre the precision. So M is plus minus 20%. And I actually wrote the rest here. So E is 0.5% up to N, which is 30. And some letters are, are skipped just to improve uh, legibility, I think is the word. Anyway, so yeah, what we have going on is basically a one amp fuse which is this right so the if, if we go for this being live and this being neutral right live would go through a fuse down to the switch mode power supply and it only touches this capacitor over here which is a y class capacitor i might be able to see this better than i can but let's see so y2 x1 and I'm not super versed in capacitors, but anyway, these are uh, mains rated usually two capacitors in series, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But high voltage capacitors that you can run across the mains without losing sleep at night. And uh, the a neutral right, goes this way to the switch mode power supply, which has very nice isolation slots and stuff. So that's pretty cute but then it also snakes this way touches one of the ends of the it doesn't matter which one let's say this one of the transformer and then it goes via a diode which i removed and a capacitor to the other end 
of this Y class capacitor, so I think the schematic is actually wrong. Is it? I don't think it is though. So this goes to the fuse, so live goes fuse and then onto one of the legs. This one goes ah, but via the diode though to the other leg. And it actually goes through the diode and the cap onto the other end of the 4N for nanofarad capacitor, this one. And then it has 12 turns on the one side and two sets of five turns on the other side, which are directly connected as far as I'm aware. Let's uh, zoom in to the phi. All right. So they're, they're pretty close. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to assume they, they get ran from this. And yeah, that being said, I think uh, this is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at... Um, I wouldn't even say obsolete tech. I mean, if you have a big-ass old house, this could prove quite useful. I uh, wonder how fast this goes. Probably put up a data sheet, a spec sheet of this at the end. But, uh, yeah. Have a good one.